Oracle NetSuite offers a powerful PSA tool that provides comprehensive management of project planning, timesheets, expenses, resources, budgeting, invoicing, and more in a single package. Welcome to the GSI overview and demo of NetSuite OpenAir. We're going to cover a sample life cycle of a project from inception to invoice and include some insight on what OpenAir can do. What you're looking at now is the dashboard landing after initially logging into OpenAir. The items on top are the different modules that you can access throughout the system, which can be enabled or disabled based on role provisions. The items below it are the subcontext options that allow you to further navigate each module. We're going to jump right into the project module and open up the case example that we have called e-commerce mobile app beta. This project is exactly as the name implies. It is a mobile application development project plan that we have set up for one of our clients. Projects in open air primarily consist of phases and tasks, financials, and properties. There are other areas that you can access in projects, but you can turn those on and off based on project stages. You can even enable them based on different project stages pertaining to your particular organization. For this example, we're going to stick with these three. Properties house the foundation of your project. Items like who the client is, what the project name is, who the project owner is, the start date, invoice layout, things like who the approvers are going to be, or whether or not you can even enter time or expense against this project. Phases and tasks, on the other hand, contain information like how the project is progressing. So phases can contain multiple or single tasks, or they can be standalone phases, which act as milestones. They will track the progress of the project as tasks are completed. They can be used to take a high-level look at how the project is going, or they can be used as billing options as well. Tasks, on the other hand, define what type of work is being done, where it's being done, who is doing it, like assignments or assignment groups, and what the estimates are of the work that's being done. You can choose whether a task is billable or non-billable and the service that's being provided. As soon as a user is assigned to a task in OpenAir, they are now able to enter time to that project or material or both. You can restrict that type of information such as clicking close for timesheets or close for expenses, or you can enable it globally. Financials house information like the analysis of the project, which gives you a quick snapshot of how the project is progressing financially, recognition rules, project budgets, or billing rules. We're going to look at billing rules, which can contain rules that convert time that's submitted against that particular task and convert them into charges so that they may be invoiced. In this example, we have two billing rules, time and expense. You can include other billing rules, uh, such as milestone bills or fixed flat fee billing. You can set them to recur or uh, one-time charges. In this example, we're going to look at the time billing rule which has a specific date range, start and end date. This will filter out time sheets that are entered after 12-31-2017. And you can include other filters like that. Filters like what types of users are being collected in these billing rules, what type of tasks or job codes. You can do things like override the billing rates. Uh, Whatever tasks are entered at that timesheet level, I can override to be $100 per hour, like this example shows. I can set things like caps, let the number of hours rule how much time I can actually bill back to the client, and I can have that type of time repeat month over month or quarter or week or day or year. Once I give this billing rule a name and set it to active, any timesheets entered against this project will run through all of these billing rules. I've sorted the position, so it will run it from top to bottom. But the position denotes what rules follow each one. So I can create another rule 
And if this rule is met by the time entered into the project, it will be captured here and used. If not, then it will move on to the next billing rule and so forth. The same principle applies for expenses. I can limit the number and type of expenses being billed back to the client. I can mark them up or down based on the rules I set in the expense billing rule. And I can, like I did with the time billing rule, I can include multiple expense rules and if one is met or not met, I can move on to the next one and so forth. Now that I have myself as the project owner, this being an active project, active billing rules to capture all time submitted against this project at General Consulting Custom, and myself added to the pre-planning activities portion of the tasks, I can now submit a timesheet against this project. I will head over to the timesheet module and click the green plus sign and head to new timesheets. We'll create one starting today. And I'll select the project and the task that I was just assigned to. You'll notice that I only have one option, even though there were multiple in the project. That's because I'm not assigned to any of those other options. Let's say I worked 40 hours this week on this particular project and the project properties define that I needed notes for each day. As soon as I save and submit this, it's ready to run through my billing rules. Now, this is automatically approved, but if I head over to the Submit Approve Routing, I can create special routing to, instead of have this automatically approved by myself, follow a hierarchy of my supervisor or a specific person, like a project manager. This one's automatically approved for brevity's sake. We're going to head back over to the project and turn this timesheet, which is now 40 hours worked against this particular task, as you can see in the task level. We're going to convert it into a charge. So we will run these billing rules. I can automatically run these billing rules every night, but we're going to manually running, run it by clicking on Run Here. And as you can see, it picked up my five days worth of time, and it converted the eight hours times the $100 override that we saw in my billing rules, and we've now got $4,000 worth of charges. I hit Create Project Billing Transactions and Charges, and it will confirm that those charges have been created. Now I'm ready to create the invoice. So I'll head over to the Invoices module. From the Invoices module, I've got my subcontext of charges, invoices, retainers. I'm already set to the charges, and I've already got the filter set for my current project. And as you can see, I've got six charges sitting out there, five of which are my daily charges, and I've got one charge, which is a flat rate manually entered charge, ready to be invoiced. And that's my flat rate there. I can create a new invoice by clicking the green plus sign and going to New Invoice. And this will automatically pull me to the latest charges generated by project. So it already knows to take me to e-commerce mobile app beta project. And from here, I can actually start throwing these onto an invoice. I've got $5,000 automatically selected, and I can select and deselect what I want to appear on this invoice. I can uncheck all down here or check all and hit save. As soon as I hit save, an invoice with an invoice number through the next numbering system is generated, and I've got an invoice format all ready to go. This invoice can also follow an approval process. For our example, the project is already ready to go to approve, and I can send this invoice out to specific users. And I can track the progress of this particular invoice's history. So as soon as the user opens my email and sees this invoice and views it, it will mark it as viewed in the system. So pretty cool functions within the open air system. 
I can print this as a PDF and download it as well. I can actually head back over to my project as well, and I can see how the financials have progressed now that I've got new billing added in the system. This concludes the demonstration for NetSuite OpenAir. Thank you, and if you have questions, you can reach us at the email below.